Hey guys, what we have here is the ASRock Steel Legend Intel Arc B580 graphics card. This graphics card uses the latest next-gen Arc B580 Battle Mage GPU, featuring Intel's new XE2 HPG architecture. The GPU includes some new exciting features, such as the XE Super Sample AI upscaling, Intel X Matrix Extensions AI engines, and ray tracing. It features 20 XE2 cores operating at a clock speed of 2.8 GHz and comes with 12 GB of GDDR6 RAM on a 192-bit memory bus running at a speed of 19 gigabits per second. Video outputs include 1 HDMI and 3 Display Port. And for cooling, the card comes with 3 strut ring fans with a heat pipe and a large heat sink with a solid metal backplate. The card comes with two 8-pin PCI power connectors, which means it can be powered by a vast majority of power supplies. It also comes with built-in ARGB LEDs, which is compatible with ASRock's Polychrome Sync. For many years, Intel have been trying to capture a minute share in the graphics card market. And I can tell you, it's not easy, especially when you have dominant players like AMD and Nvidia with over two decades of experience. With a price range of around about $250 plus, this card is primarily targeted at the mainstream market for gamers and content creators on a budget. What will the users think of the Intel Arc B580? Well, let's find out and put this into our test rig. But before we do that, let's do a quick unboxing and uh, we'll see you in a bit. All right, let's do a quick unboxing of the ASRock Steel Legend Intel Arc B580 graphics card. It has the latest Intel Arc graphics. It uses the Intel's latest XE2 HPG architecture, and it comes with the XE Super Sampler AI upscaling, as well as the Intel X Matrix Extensions AI engines. This is the overclocked edition, which uses an overclocked GPU running at 2.8 gigahertz. All right, let's take a look inside. We have the uh, quick installation guide and an important notice. Thank you for choosing ASRock's Intel Arc graphics card. There are no other accessories or anything else inside the box apart from the graphics card. Let's take a closer look. All right, here we have the ASRock Steel Legend Intel Arc B580 graphics card. This card uses an overclocked GPU running at 2.8 gigahertz and comes with 12 gigabytes of GDDR6 RAM on a 192-bit memory bus with a speed of 19 gigabits per second. Uses the latest XE2 HPG architecture and has 20 XE2 cores. It also has the XE Super Sample AI upscaling as well as the Intel X Matrix Extensions AI engines. It's primarily targeted at the mainstream market uh, for users who wants to do a little bit of gaming as well as content creation. So yeah, we should expect some decent performance. We'll see how it goes. For cooling has the three stripe ring fans and also a large heat sink with a heat pipe as well as the uh, solid metal back plate. You have the LED on off switch and also ARGB header right there. All right, let's take a look at the top right here. We have the uh, Steel Legend logo right here, which lights up with the RGB. And you've got the Intel Arc branding right there. And you have two of the 8-pin PCI power connectors. All right, so for video outputs, we have uh, one, two, three display port and one HDMI. And these are the display port 2.1 and also the HDMI 2.1. We'll be testing this graphics card using an Intel Core i9 14900K, uh, sitting on a Z790 motherboard, along with 32 gigabytes of uh, DDR5 7400 RAM. And we'll see how this uh, graphics card will perform. With a price tag of around about $250 for the Intel version, expect to play around 260 to 280 for the uh, third party edition with the extra cooling and uh, overclock GPU. All right, so this was a quick unboxing of the ASRock Steel Legend Intel Arc B580 graphics card. The 
ASRock Steel Legend Intel Arc B580, as the name suggests, uses Intel's latest Arc B580 GPU featuring the latest XE2 HPG architecture with 20 XE2 cores. It's targeted at the budget to mainstream GPU market and uses a slightly overclocked GPU running at 2.8GHz. It also comes with 12GB of GDDR6 VRAM running at 19GB per second on a 192-bit memory bus. Doing our test, we use an Intel Core i9-1400K processor along with a Z790 motherboard and 32GB of DDR5-7400 RAM. We got satisfactory scores in all of our benchmarks including a score of 1317 for Bismarck Relic Life and a Geekbench score of 98138. For Unigine's Valley benchmark, we got a score of 5488 and a Final Fantasy benchmark score of 10922. Passmark 11 GPU score was 17,633. For Superposition 1080p Extreme and Optimized 4K, we got an adequate score of 8,173 and 9,931 respectively. For 3 d Mark Times by on Firestrike, we produced a decent score of 15,601 and 31,942 respectively. And finally for Speedway and Port Royal, we produced an acceptable score of 2,475 and 7,833 respectively. And lastly, we got a DirectX ray tracing score of 29.38 frames per second and an XESS score of 79.61 frames per second. For Cyberpunk 2027 at 4K with ray tracing overdrive settings, it produced a below par score of 18.74 frames per second. However, at 1080p and 1440p, it's a priceless with an acceptable FPS score of 136.2 and 103.73 respectively. Overall, as you can see from the benchmarks, that the performance of the Intel Arc B580 is really targeted and aimed at the budget to mainstream market. It mostly outperforms the Radeon RX 7600 and competes fairly well against the GeForce RTX 4060 Ti. Armed with Intel's next-gen GPU, the ASRock Steel Legend Intel Arc B580 graphics card is competitively priced and is a fair attempt to target gamers and content creators on a budget. You can check out the full review on our website at fuckkit.com. And there you have it, that was a quick look at the ASRock Steel Legend Intel Arc B580 graphics card. A graphics card that comes with some interesting features that's targeted at the mainstream market uh, for content creators and gamers on a budget. Hope you enjoyed this video. Give us a like and uh, leave a comment down below. Don't forget you can actually buy this by the links in the description. And of course, visit our website for more news, reviews and hot tips. Oh yeah, don't forget, hit the subscribe button for more. Until next time, this is Winston for FunkyKit.com.